Hey everybody, I'm Bill, Cranky Cook 2022. Uh, I came in the other day and didn't have a lot of food in the house. Uh, but I did have garlic and I did have Parmesan cheese and I had a box of pasta sitting around. So I said, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make spaghetti alla olio. It's always been one of my favorite dishes. It's simple, easy to make. You can have it on the table in 15 minutes. Uh, and it is absolutely fantastic. A couple of tips. When you go out and buy a box of pasta, the directions on the side of it will tell you that you need to put the pasta into six quarts of boiling water. That's bullshit. You don't need to use that much water to cook pasta. And in fact, since the planet seems to be running out of water, maybe you could cut it back a little bit. I use about two quarts of water for a pound of pasta. Today, I'm only gonna be making a third of a pound of pasta, so I'm gonna use about a quart, quart and a half of water. Um, that's one tip. The other tip is we're using a lot of sliced garlic. We have 10 cloves here that we've sliced up for this dish, and man, they smell good. Uh, when you slice the garlic, you don't wanna slice it too thin because as you brown it, um, if it's too thin, it's gonna burn. And when garlic burns, it gets very bitter. So you wanna cut nice, thickly sliced garlic and not too much water. Uh, so let's get started with this thing and show you how we get this done. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do, or one more tip I should say, is that we're gonna cook the pasta about a minute shy of the doneness that we want. And the reason for that is that when we take it from the water, we're gonna put it into the second pot with the garlic and it's gonna cook even further. So let's get started. So we've got our pasta in the pot. You know, the thing about not using six quarts of water, uh, presumably while you're cooking the pasta, you're gonna be standing at the stove doing other things. So you're always gonna keep an eye on it, which means you'll always be able to stir it, which is gonna prevent it from clumping up. That's why they recommend that you use six quarts because they want it rolling. If you're paying attention, you just keep moving the pasta around, keep stirring the pasta, and you won't get any clumping. Our pasta is about halfway there, so we're going to get the garlic into the pan. Okay, I think our garlic is just about where we want it to be. So what we're going to do now, we're not going to drain our pasta. We're going to take the pasta directly from the water and put it into the pot with the garlic and the oil. Okay. Now we're gonna get a lot of water that comes with the pasta, but we wanna we want to also take a small scoop of that water and get it in there because we do want it to continue cooking. We're going to let the water thicken up for about a minute and a half, two minutes. We'll turn the heat off on that. Get a bowl. We'll go right from the pot, right into the bowl. Okay, so there we have it. Our pasta's in the bowl. These beautiful brown garlic cloves are on top. I'm gonna add a little Parmesan cheese. In fact, a lot of Parmesan cheese. A nice crack of black pepper. Now let's have a taste. Gotta make sure you get those delicious garlic cloves in there with each bite. My mouth is watering. Just delicious. The garlic is browned perfectly. Uh, it adds a nice sweetness to it. Uh, the pasta is cooked just like we wanted it. Mm. That's really great. And you have it on the table in about 15 minutes or so. The thing you have to wait the longest for is to boil the water. Uh, so it's a quick, easy dish. Uh, again, four ingredients, garlic, pasta, olive oil, and some Parmesan cheese. Uh, so it couldn't be easier to make. Um, I'm Bill. And there you have it. I'm Bill Cranky Cook 2022. Thanks for coming. And uh, like the episode, if you would, subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see you soon.